Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Fortified. In today's video I'm going to show you how to contour. I'm also going to be explaining the difference between contour and bronzer at the end of the video. So if there's a little bit of a gray area there in your mind, I will be explaining the difference between the two. They're not mutually exclusive, but contour is more about putting definition back into your face and creating the illusion of shadow where you possibly don't have a shadow anymore. So as we age, we lose bone mass in our face and we also lose volume, our skin starts to sag. So contour is a brilliant way of putting dimension back into your face and just adding those contours to bring back the lost definition. So when you're looking at contour, you're going to be looking at a matte contour and you're going to be looking at a shade that is going to be a little bit gray in tone or a little bit more ashy than a bronzer. And it's something that is going to give you the illusion of a shadow. So now onto the tutorial. I've applied my foundation and my powder. Today I went in with the Revlon Colorstay Life Proof Foundation Stick, an oldie but a real goodie. And then I powdered with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder for Normal Combination Skin. I went to do one side of my face in a powder contour and the other side of my face in a cream contour, just to show you the versatility and differences between the two. So for the powder side, I'm going in with a MAC blush and this is in the shade Prism and I love this because it just gives you the illusion of a shadow so it does have a little bit of a kind of mauvey undertone so your bronzing shades will be a lot warmer and you can use a little bit of shimmer but with your contour shade you need to stick to a matte and it usually has a kind of a gray undertone and it's a little bit of trial and error to find a shade that matches your skin that's going to stand out and give you a contour without being very very obvious. So this is one that I've found and I really really enjoy it. So next on to tools. What tools do you need? The brush that I go in with is this one and this is I got this off the Shane website. It was less than 30 Rand and I really love this. It's such a versatile brush. If you don't have anything like this you can go in with a slightly tapered foundation brush and you can just use the kind of edge of that or you can go in with a contour brush and just use the slanted tip of that but you do need something that can apply a fine kind of shading nothing that's too fluffy so going in with this guy I'm going to dip it into my prism blush and then the idea for contour is that you want to create a three on your face. So that's the kind of shape that we're looking for. So starting off here, you're going to go down, you're going to go down under your cheekbone and then down under your jawline. So it's an inverted three like that. So just going to pop a little bit of the blush onto my brush. And I'm just going to start here gently just to define my hairline. So we're just going up on the outer outskirts of the forehead just to add a little bit of definition. And then you can bring it towards your temples. I'm going to add a little bit more of the blush. I'm going to come round and then I'm going to go under my cheekbone like that. I am going to apply a little bit more product. So this is quite a light product, but you can build it up. And that is the idea because you want definition and not a very obvious stripe. So just gently going in, in a little C shape like that. And then you can also suck in your cheeks. If you're not quite sure where your cheekbone starts and where it ends, you can suck in your cheek and that will give you more of a, defined space in which to put the contour. So I'm hoping that you're going to be able to pick that up on camera. And you can see it is a slightly kind of ashy grayish tone. But it's not so ashy that it stands out. 
just gives me a hint of definition. So it's just looking like a shadow on the face. And you can actually bring it up. If you want to carve out more of a cheekbone, you can bring it up slightly. If you are feeling brave, you can bring it up slightly like that. And then using a slightly fluffier brush, I'm then going to go down onto my jawline. And I do use a fluffier brush for this because this one is a little bit fine for my jawline. So I'm going to go in with a tapered foundation brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of that to the blush. And then I'm going to sweep it under my jawline. And this will help to create a shadow and give you some definition underneath your jawline. So you can build this up depending on how far you want to go with this as long as you have the right shade. And then when you eventually get around to applying your blush you just need to make sure that you do blend into the area where you've defined your cheekbone. I'm going to add a little bit more of that because I'm really not sure how that is picking up on camera. But in natural light or with my lights, with my lighting, it actually looks quite fine. And then just make sure that you don't have any obvious lines on your forehead. You can go back and you can just kind of buff in the contour. And I've also used this shade on my eyes. So I do have hooded eyes and I've used the prism shade just on my upper lid to push back the hood slightly. And then I've added a tiny bit of eyeshadow on top of that. So that just really helps to push back the lid because it is very skin like the shade that I'm using. And so it really looks quite natural and it just helps to give your eyelids a little bit of definition. So that's a tip for contour on your eyes. And then using a little bit of the same shade, I'm not going to go into the nose. I do like to contour my nose. I don't do it every day, but um, when I have a little bit of time, I do like to go in and give it a little bit of contour. So I'm taking my little slanted brush again, just tapping off the excess and then starting just at the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to apply the shade just in downwards motions like that. And I find that this really does help just to give the nose a little bit of contour. And then you can take it a little bit further as well. You can go down the middle of the nose with the shade and you can also contour the end. It's going to make your, the end of your nose recede slightly if you make it a little bit darker. So that's what all the shadow is about. Anything that's shadowed will recede and anything that's highlighted will protrude. So that's a little bit of contour for the nose. And I'm going to do the other side with a cream contour. The stick that I'm using today is a NYX. This is the NYX Wonder Stick in Universal. It's got a highlight on the one end and a contour on the other. The contour is quite a universal shade, but if you do have medium to dark skin, you are going to find this a little bit too light. So again, I'm going to start in the middle of my forehead and I'm just going to draw in the number three like that. So taking it up into the forehead, down into the temples, around onto my cheekbone and then down under the jawline. And then with this I'm going to take a foundation brush to blend it in. You can use a fluffy brush, you can use a soft brush, you can use anything that works for you. So I'm going in with a tapered foundation brush and I'm just going to gently blend this out. And you might prefer to use a cream contour if you find it easier. It does blend a lot easier. And this one is really great. I mean, it's such a cinch to apply this. It's really quick and easy. So just blending out on my 
cheekbone or underneath my cheekbone, should I say. And then down here, I've gone right into the hairline and then just blending it here onto my jawline. So it really doesn't make a difference whether you use cream or powder, but I just wanted to show you two of the options that are available. And that is really quick and easy. I'm going to add a little bit more under my cheekbone just to give that slightly more definition and then I'm going to suck in and blend this. I'm happy with that so now I'm going to take a little bit of the cream contour and I'm going to put a little bit of contour on my nose. Again starting at the inner corner of the eye where your eye meets your nose. I'm just going to take a little bit of that down the side of the nose and then again taking a tapered foundation brush I'm just going to blend that out so that I don't have an obvious stripe. And so guys, that is the contour done. So it really is a quick and easy method to add back a little bit of definition to your face, to enhance your cheekbones and also to disguise jowls or to enhance your jawline. It's really quick and easy and a little bit of definition goes a long way in terms of making your features stand out. So now onto the differences between contour and bronzer. Well, they're not mutually exclusive, but whereas contour is there to define and add shadow, bronzer is there to warm up the skin. And you would apply bronzer where sun would naturally hit your face. So you would apply it onto your forehead, onto the bridge of your nose, the tops of your cheekbones, and onto your chin. You can definitely use a bronzer as a contour. If you have a matte bronzer that is a few shades deeper than your skin tone, then definitely by all means, you can definitely use that to define areas on your face and to create a more sculpted jawline. So it's one product that will do both jobs. But if you're specifically looking for a contour, then you definitely need a matte shade with some grayish undertones that is going to create the illusion of a shadow. So guys, that's my tutorial on contour. Please let me know what you use to contour. I'd love to hear from you. Leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.